You don't really want smoke, you ain't got that shit I've been cruising down the block with a badass bitch With my mind on the tips and it's not on my hip Fuck then I dip, say I'm finna take a trip You don't really want smoke, you ain't got that shit I've been cruising down the block with a badass bitch With my mind on the tips and it's not on my hip Fuck then I dip, say I'm finna take a trip This right here is what I like to call the SM keys The ultimate keyboard for programmers. A beautiful SMK65 case with a top half black matte layer and a bottom clear matte half. A brass plate resting on a KBD67 Ref2 PCB. Some Gatoron yellow switches and to top it all off, the GMK Skidalka keycaps. This video is not doing enough justice to how good this keyboard sounds and feels. Typing on $190 GMK keycaps feels absolutely unreal. And with the beautiful sound that the brass plate makes, I think it's the best duo for us keyboard freaks. Now, the title of this video is the ultimate keyboard for programmers. And as a programmer, there are a few things I would like to strip out from the old regular keyboard. It's no secret that us coders hate using the mouse and the numpad. In fact, if it was that easy, we would all be using Vim 24-7. I'm obviously not a masochistic person, so I did expect this keyboard to have some arrow keys. The 65% keyboard for the majority of us developers is the sweet spot in terms of efficiency. Obviously, if you're a hardcore Vim user, I'd even argue that the arrow keys are not worthy. But I like to think that us programmers do more than just programming. Now, another point that is worth considering is functional keys. To my experience, functional keys are a bit of a waste of space. But of course, I think this is more of a subjective opinion rather than an objective one. Now, I obviously opted for a mechanical keyboard and not a membrane one. I'd even strongly argue that the main benefit of having a mechanical keyboard is tactility. These type of keyboards allow keys to be typed with minimal effort, mostly when you're dealing with linear or tactile switches. In a perfect world, I would say that having tactile switches is the fastest typing experience out there. But in reality, linear switches and tactile switches comes down to preference. I've personally dealt with having tactile switches in the past and I'm not a fan of having a tactile bump. I would recommend you try different type of switches to see what you enjoy more because switches have a variety of response, noise, and travel time. So keep that in mind when choosing for the right type of switches for your programming experience. I do acknowledge that the price tag is a big elephant in this room within this video. Like almost anything in life, spending large amounts of money on an item will reflect when that item is being used. Believe me, driving a Honda Civic and an R8 does not feel the same. The same idea can be applied to keyboards. I've used budget keyboards in the past, which by the way, are extremely amazing for the price. Well, depending which ones. But now that I'm using this beautiful custom keyboard made by SM Keyboards, I am extremely mind blown in terms of build quality and typing experience. Honestly, I've never thought a keyboard would feel this great and I've gone through a lot of keyboards and none of them come close to having your own custom keyboard built to meet your needs. I am extremely happy with the suggestions given by SM Keyboards in terms of switches, metal plate, and actually GM key keycaps. Now, as stated in the beginning of the video, this video is not sponsored. I happen to find someone very reliable that actually builds custom keyboards. There's a bunch of them out there on Instagram and even Reddit. The purpose of this video is for you guys to go out there and build your own custom keyboard to meet your programming needs. Now, I told myself I would have a little fun with you guys and create a typing challenge. I am uh, I'm not the fastest typer at all, mainly because I just copy paste code all the time. The page we're going to be using is typing.com and the test we're going to be taking is a one minute typing test and it starts right now. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Jesus Christ. That is pretty freaking bad. 70 words per minute. Let me know what you guys think about custom keyboards and leave in the comment section down below your words per minute. And if it's better than me, subscribe to the channel. I'm 100% sure everyone's gonna be better than me.